Not a month after being released, he's already contravened the rules of his release and has had to go back inside. Yeah, well, first of all, I think this is a really difficult subject and I, d I don't think there's any kind of binary answer to the, to the issue of what you do with sex offenders. But the reason why I suggest that in this case the system's worked is because licence conditions imposed on released sex offenders are intended to pick up this sort of behaviour that looks mm. like someone may be uh, on, on a journey towards further offending and get them back into prison quickly without any uh, legal process. And that's what's happened. So, Isn't, Wasn't the expectation, though, that he was sentenced to a 16-year term. He served half of that 16-year term. Within that 16-year term, the rehabilitation should have happened during that period. Exactly. And so, exactly. At, but, but he's been out a month and he's already contravened the rule. Exactly. And what does that tell you about how we are failing to well, do anything? Well, it sounds any... like he's not been rehabilitated. Well, exactly. And we're failing in our prison system to rehabilitate sex offenders in particular. The prison system's a completely ineffective way of rehabilitating most people, but it, it fails most seriously and most regularly in the case of sex offenders, particularly sex offenders like Glitter, who have been offending for 50, 60 years, very, very long periods, and, and who didn't get caught until many, many years after the, uh, the, the offending that they committed. Uh, these are very difficult cases and we absolutely need to look at the most important thing of all, how do you reduce the risk of further offences?